Good afternoon, ladles and jelly spoons. Now, today, which is still, of course, Saturday, the 23rd of January, 2021, we have got a Squire Telecaster Standard. Hmm. 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 Yeah, don't remember him doing that finish. Anyway, let's have a listen to the sounds it makes. I'll go through the pickups and then uh, we'll have a jolly good look around it and I'll explain what I've done to it. Let's go. So, right out the gate, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you and I'm going to tell you. I'm not a fan of Telecasters, I don't like them particularly, uh, you know, they're great for what they do and I know that loads of people love them, loads of people use them and uh, well, good luck to them, but you know, not pointy, no hairspray, so just not my thing, but I did get this as an experiment. First of all, let's have a listen to the pickups which are all standard issue and then we'll have a jolly good look round it. So we're going to start off in the bridge or travel position. Nice and sharp and spanky aren't they? Right into the centre. as you know, uh, one volume, one tone, or... All good, all good, okay. Let's have a look and I'll tell you what I did. So when I acquired this a few years ago, it kind of came along with some other stuff. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, it looked like it had probably had a bit of a hard life, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, the body was... needed some attention. Okay. And so did the... let's start at the point... oh, so yes, Indonesian Court Factory, um, and it is 01, so it's 20 years old, uh, and we'll start at the pointy end. Let me tell you about that. So the original owner had very clearly brutally scratched off the Squire logo and had not replaced it with anything. I can only guess that he was going to bung a Fender logo on it, but it was it was just a mess. And the only thing that was really left was uh, part of the bit that tells you that it is in fact a Telecaster. And luckily, the little standard uh, logo. So it is definitely an Indi Indonesian court from 2001 Squire Telecaster Standard Series, which were pre pretty much, even though it's a standard, the standards were pretty much at the top of the Squire range at that time, as I recall. 
And so I, using um, a, re a reverse printed logo on a bit of wax paper, uh, managed to get the square name back on it and varnished over that. Uh, I put two roller uh, string trees on, even though, the, you know, they don't really need roller trees because there's no vibrato system so there's not that much movement they just look a bit nicer that's all now uh, it does have a very very beautiful uh, rosewood fingerboard and their necks are so slim on these they're dead easy dead easy to play lovely lovely guitars it's a maple neck as you can see we have a rosewood skunk stripe there are a couple of little bashes out of the neck here now, as you may or may not know, or in, for that matter, be interested, uh, I do sell guitars on eBay for, from time to time. And normally, most guitars have a kind of standard price. But of course, because this one's been mucked about with by me, then it's going to go on this weekend at uh, 99p, no reserve. So whoever gets it for whatever they get it for, gets it for whatever they get it for. And... Uh, so, the body was horrible, and I will be honest with you, because if you don't get anything else here, you do get honesty, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, so, I did try, I did try, I tried, I used to, you know, years and years ago, I used to spray cars, I used to run taxis, I used to spray cars, and I was, you know, pretty good at it. And I thought, well, a little guitar body, that ain't going to be difficult, I made an, and I said I didn't make a good job of it at all. It looked like orange peel. It was horrible. Uh, so I repainted it white. It used to be blonde. Um, but, you know, as I said, the previous owner mucked about with it and it uh, didn't look nice. So I thought, well, hmm, I'm going to try a little experiment. I'm going to try a vinyl wrap which has come out okay. I'm quite happy with it. Um, you could probably still do with a bit of tidying up round the sides, but uh, generally speaking, yes, I like it. So it is all original Squire, and uh, that's more or less it. And it weighs roughly the same as that uh, Ibanez Art 80. So look at this. Have a look. Uh, they, they both weigh almost exactly the same. Have a look at the thickness of the body. Does that not tell you something? Clearly, the wood in the Ibanez is significantly more dense than the wood in the Telecaster, because if they were the same, if they had the same density, then this would weigh an absolute ton. But as I say, they're pretty much uh, it, to, to within a few ounces. They're pretty much even uh, this so this weighs in just over uh, a, a shade over eight um what they call pounds eight pounds D but you know uh, all intact all working all original apart from of course the vinyl wrap um it is old and there are just the tiniest 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 little lacquer defects there but we've talked about this before and of course as long as there's no gaping elms and the neck ain't loose you're, you're good to go you're absolutely fine and let me tell you if you are thinking about installing a vinyl wrap on your guitar either leave it to somebody who's really really good at it or better still don't that's my advice to you. So that is it. The obviously the pickups are Telecaster powerful, which they're never going to sound like a humbucker, which is probably one of the reasons they're not really a big favourite of mine. I do like lots of oomph, uh, but it plays beautifully. The action, actually, the action probably wants to come up a, a little bit, if anything, because that is a low. So there we have it, a vinyl wrapped spanky Telecaster and other, other than, you know, like I said, the what's happened here, which, you know, is acceptable these days, I think. 
and those couple of little bumps in the neck here, which by the way you cannot feel, or at least I cannot feel while I'm playing. Uh, but that's, you know, if you're a bit of a Telecaster fan then I suppose that this may or may not appeal to you depending upon whether you like the checkered flag. I like the way that the it looks wavy, hmm, groovy, baby. Okay, so that's it from me and the Squire Standard, and I'll see you all quite soon, I think. So, uh, for the time being, it's Adios Amigos, and ta -ra.